1929, she left her young son, my grandfather, and came to the United States and worked with her husband to raise money to bring over my grandfather and her two sisters. The rest of their families, parents, siblings, and cousins were killed in the Holocaust. My great-grandparents eventually were able to live comfortably on the Upper West Side, but Grandma always remained frugal, reusing scraps of paper and plastic containers, repairing clothing and objects. She was a hard worker and was a modern-day feminist who bought the feminist mystique for family and friends when it was first published. In naming my daughter after Grandma, I hope she inherits her wisdom and wit, her love of all people, and the charm that made people love her. Grandma Betty Feldman was the quintessential grandmother. Although she only had five grandchildren, she was called Grandma by almost everyone who knew her. Grandma was constantly concerned about those around her, making sure we were dressed warmly enough and comfortable. She loved to contribute her baked goods to a family gathering and took an active interest in the lives of her grandchildren and their friends. Grandma Feldman, like her biblical namesake Leia, took prayer very seriously. Although she did not understand Hebrew, she prayed every day. Even at the end of her life, when her eyesight was very poor, Grandma's commitment to prayer did not falter as she sat squinting over her worn sitter, trying to make out the letters and words. Grandma loved to be with family and friends. As her hearing deteriorated and she was unable to follow conversation, she still took pleasure in sitting with the family, watching her grandchildren and great-grandchildren interact. <coughs> She grew up as Elizabeth from Elizabeth to a family of Russian immigrants and became the first woman from her family to graduate from college in 1936. She married Joe's grandfather, Joseph Feldman, in 1942 and raised her family in Elizabeth, where they were very active in the JEC. Later, they moved to Chicago, where she became a school teacher. I only knew Grandma Feldman as a woman in her 90s, but I was always impressed by her resilience and energy, her rich storytelling, her pride in her work as a teacher, and her delight in the accomplishments of her grandchildren. When Joe spoke at Grandma's funeral in February, he concluded by saying he felt sadness that Grandma would no longer be around to share future smuggle. We hope that by naming for Grandma, our daughter will bring Grandma's spirit to all future smuggle in the family. I want to thank my in-laws for opening their home to host us all this morning. We are blessed to have all four of Eva's grandparents and two great-grandmothers. My, gra my, both of my grandmothers are here today celebrating with us today. We thank all of you for your love and support and look forward to sharing many more small clothes together. And they have Thank you for coming. You can eat more food. <laughs>